hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to generate a pdf report from wizard in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 14 development tutorials so what we will be doing in this video is that we will show you how to generate or how to design a pdf report that we can print from a wizard so in one of our previous video we already have learned how to generate a pdf report and add it into the print button of the record so if i go to the appointments model or if i go to the patients and if i open any of the record you can see here we have successfully added reports like patient details patient card which is of type PDF and also we have learned how to create an Excel report but in this video we will be learning about how to generate a report from wizard in Odoo so the case is that when we are creating a report from the record we can get only data related with that record only so there might be some use case where we have to print all the appointments of a specific month or we have to print all the appointments of a particular patient so in such cases what we will do in the Odoo is that we will be creating a wizard suppose here you can see in the screen I have already created a wizard so here we can see wizard containing the filters like patients date from and date to so simply what I have done I have created a new wizard and using this wizard you can select the patient and you can select the date that is these are the filter condition for the report so we will be selecting the patient that is i need the report of michelle from date 28 of last month to 21st of july 2021 and once you click on print you will be getting the details filtered by this selected condition so let's see how we can generate such a report so what i have already done is that if you go back to pycharm so here i have my pycharm and here is my custom add-ons path so what i have done is if you go to the om hospital module and in the wizards folder i have already defined a new transient model so here you can see i have defined a new transient model named appointment dot report wizard and uh, what i'll give i'll give the description as print appointment wizard and i have defined a three fields that is patient id of many to one referring to hospital dot patient and two date fields that is date from and date to to filter the appointments so i have added this much fields so right now you can ignore this section so let me introduce how i have designed the wizard so i have added three fields and i have imported this file inside the corresponding init file and in the view section here you can see i have defined a form view containing those fields so here i have patient id date from and date to so i have added it to the corresponding view patient id date from and date to then i have added a corresponding action so this action will call this form and what i have done i have added the menu here in the menu.xml file so here i have added a menu called main menu called reporting so here you can see i have added a new menu called reporting simply you can define a menu giving id name parent id etc then a sub menu i have added appointments and from this menu i have called this action which in turn call this wizard so we have successfully added the wizard so if you don't know how to create a wizard we have a separate video about showing how to create a wizard in detail so you can have a look at that and i'll be adding that in the description section so we have successfully added the wizard and also i have set the access rights so from odoo version 14 you have to set access rights for wizard more transient model also so here you can see i have added access rights for that model also so what we have done we have successfully created new menu and created a wizard so what we will do here you can see if you place the mouse over here so currently the debug mode is not activated so what i'll do i'll go to the settings and i'll activate the debug mode so i hope it's clear how we have generated the wizard so hospital reporting and wizard and on clicking the print button so here you can see action print report will get called that is this is a button of type object which calls action print report so that where is our wizard model so this is the model on clicking the button 
this action will get executed so before coming to this action you have to learn that we have already added a report in the database so if you go to the reports folder and if you open a report.xml file here you can see we have already added an action report this is you can see i, are, I have added a report action so a record id and id is given model is specified as ir.actions report a name is given and in the model i have given the newly defined model that is appointment report wizard so i have set it here appointment report wizard and report type is set to qf pdf and then you have to set the template name here so my module name is om hospital so om hospital dot your template name so the template is responsible to that is xml side that is the layout of the report so i have specified the layout here and binding model i have set appointment dot report wizard and binding type report that's set so we have simply defined a action report that is a report action so what we have done is we have created a menu we have created a wizard and then we have added a report action and you can see this calls report appointment details so if i search report appointment details inside the oru source code sorry inside the om hospital you can see a template so this template what i have done i have simply copied from the existing template that we have created for patient card xml so in the patient card xml file we already have designed such a layout so simply i have copied that from there so let me close all the files so what we have done so far is we have defined a wizard and its view then we have added a report action in the report.xml file we have added a report action then we have to design this template so here in the appointment details.xml file i have defined the corresponding template now what we have to do we have to call this report on clicking the print button in the wizard so here you can see this is the button or this is the action that gets executed on clicking this print button action print report so let's see what we have inside this function so here you can see simply i'm calling the search read method of appointments so simply ignore these stuffs so i'll just comment these things and i'll make it simple so data of form i have i'll keep this simple and let me delete unnecessary things from this template also so let me delete what I can delete so let me remove this table so I'll keep the thing simple for you so I have just keep things simple I'll remove this table also and let me upgrade the module so what I'll do is that let me duplicate this tab and I'll upgrade the module so here we have Odoo 14 development tutorials so I'll upgrade the module so you can see the module has been upgraded now if i come back to hospital then to reporting appointments and if i print the report you can see a report is coming which is which is empty and showing appointment details which is coming from here so here you can see to call a report from a button so here you can see this is the button action and on clicking what it is getting executed we are returning self.env rough and we have to specify the id so the syntax is to return a report from a python function this is the python function you have to return like this self.env rough module name dot we have to specify the report action so here you can see in the report.xml file we have defined this one so i'll copy action report appointment and you can put it here action report appointment so you have to call the report action dot report action so the record dot report action so we'll be referring this report action and calling dot report action self comma and you have to pass data so data can be an empty dictionary or you can pass the data that is necessary so here you can see initially it is an empty data so once we restart the service so the service has been restarted and if you click on print again print it will be coming empty report so here we don't have any data so what i'll do now i'll simply get back the things that i have deleted from the template so i'll control c and let me bring back the things that i have deleted so i'll keep this section as commented 
and here I have added simply here you can see I have added a table TR and in the first column I have printed as patient in the second column I have put the colon and in the third column I am printing TTS form of patient ID so you might think from where I will get this variable form suppose you can pass the required data in the this in the report template you can pass from here so if you need to pass I'll just control Z and what I'll do I'll simply pass like this so I'm passing form here you can see I'm passing inside the data dictionary I am adding a key called form and to the form what I'm assigning self dot read of zero so if you print self dot read of zero so I'll add a print statement test and if you use self dot read of zero let's see what we get so I'll already start the service and if you click on the print again you can see here you can see you are getting ID patient ID is false date from is false date to is false that is you will be getting a details of the current model so here you can see in the wizard we don't have selected anything so all are empty so if I select a patient and I'll choose date from so I have choose patient and date from and I'll keep date to empty and if I click on print and if you check the log so if you check here you can see patient ID that is Michelle which is you have selected and date from 6 7 2021 date from 6 7 2021 so you'll be getting the data by using self dot that is no that is you will be getting the selected filters from the wizard like self dot read of zero so you can get that so what I'll do I'll pass that to the variable form so to the dictionary I'm adding a key called form or you can add form data according to your need or selected data or wizard data so I'll give form data equal to self dot read of zero and then this data is passed to this report so I can use this variable that is form data inside my template so I'll copy form data and where is my template so I'll copy close all this file and here I have my template so from the wizard I'm passing form data to the corresponding template so I can print here that is TS form data of so here you can see inside this variable we have patient ID so I'll simply print form data of patient ID so let's see what happens right now so I'll just restart the service and I'll upgrade the module so that only the changes will be reflecting in the database so I'll go to the apps menu and I'll upgrade the Odoo 14 development tutorials module so I have already designed this report and I have already designed the wizard because if I do it in the same time of video it will be too big so I think it might be getting boring for you that's why I have decided to create the template and wizard initially before starting the video so if it is a good method you can comment it out or if you need to build everything from the scratch you can comment that too so we will be going with the majority of the opinions so we have successfully upgraded the module now if you come back to the hospital then to the reporting if you click on appointments and what I will do I will simply choose which patient I will choose I will choose Jennifer and if I click on print and if you open the downloaded file you can see patient HP 00 of Jennifer so here you can see in the template you will be you are getting the selected patient so if I choose to Jerry or Michelle and if I click on print in the report it will be coming Michelle HP 00 of Michelle and what happens if there is no patient selected if you click on print you will be getting error form data of patient ID because right now the patient ID will be empty so you will be getting an error so what you have to do initially you have to add a condition here that is if you have to check whether there is a value inside that field so I'll simply add an if condition then I'll move this code inside the if condition so inside if condition what I'll search I have to search whether form data contains patient ID or not so form data dot get so you have to check whether there is such a key inside this dictionary so using dot get we can check whether 
the dictionary contains this key or not so i have simply added tt if form data don't get patient id so that's done so we don't need to upgrade so in order to reflect this change you might have to upgrade the module again so that is a bit lengthy process once you design or develop a report so instead of right now we have made a change but it will not get reflected here until you upgrade the module so in order to get those changes without upgrading the module what you can do is that it's a tip that you can use what you have to do go to the edit configuration and here you have the script that is parameters so along with parameters you can add dev xml so once you add these parameters instead of reading from the database it will read directly from the code side so we don't need to upgrade module every time so simply i have added dev underscore hyphen hyphen dev space xml click on ok then restart the service so here you can see we are passing this one now we don't need to upgrade it will directly read from the code side xml side so let me print again so we will not be getting error right now you can see the error has gone because we have made the if condition here so right now if you open the printed report you can see the patient is coming empty so similarly what we can do we can print date from and date to so let me copy this so i'll copy this tr and i'll copy two tr and in the first tr date from i'll add date from and in the second tr or this is the here i'll put date from date from and here i'll put date to and you can print the value like this first you have to check whether form data has date from if exist you can print it here so you don't need to put of one i'll explain that date to date to date to so you can put it here so let me print and show so let me remove the one from here and let me restart the service and without upgrading so you don't need to upgrade the module as you have added dev xml so if you click on print you can see the changes so if you open patient is empty date from is empty and day two is empty so what happens if i choose some values if i click on print you can see those values are getting printed here so we have selected from date as 28th of 6th 28th 6th and day two 29th 6th day two 29th 6th so we are successfully getting the selected data in the report now what we have to do we have to search and find the appointments of this patient within this date and we have to print those data here inside the template so let's see how we can do that so for doing that what i'll do here i have and one more thing that you might doubt why i have added of the one here because the patient id is a many to one field and here you can see the value to the form data the value is coming like this id comma name so i have to get this one if you give of zero it will get printed the id instead of name it will get id this is the property of a read method so we are using a read method so read method will return the many to one data like this id comma name so in order to get id you can call of zero if you need to get the second one of two or oh, sorry of one so that's why i have used of one for the many to one field and i haven't used that one for the other fields so that's done now what we have to do we have to search the appointments from the database and pass it to the template so what i'll do i'll do some codes here appointments equal to and self dot env i have to search from where i have to search from the appointment model so i'll go to the ui and let me close all these reports that i have opened yes that's closed closed and let me duplicate this tab and if i go to the appointments you can see the appointment model name is hospital dot appointment so simply i'll copy this name because i need to search the data from this model hospital dot appointment so self dot env hospital dot appointment and using the search method so this is the or method search which by which you can search inside the model by search so i'll simply search like this without any condition this is empty domain 
I haven't passed anything that is I need all the records from this model and what I will do I will pass this data to the template or like this instead of search I will use search read method because I need to get data as a dictionary format so I will use search read method in Odoo so let's see suppose if I print this print appointment so let's print and see what the result we get so search read is an OR method so here you can see we have simply let me remove the print statement so we have searched self dot env model name dot search read with empty domain and I have printed it here so let's restart the service and see what we are getting in the log when we print the report so from here I'll click on print and if you check the log you can see you are getting data like a dictionary format that is ID for name it's 001 patient ID so you can see all the appointments you will be getting as a list of dict list of dictionary here you can see this is a list starting off a list and inside the list you will have a dictionary so where is this dictionary ends so if you check it's in somewhere here so here you can see this is a record ID name patient ID all the details from the corresponding models will be taken and given it to the user so I'll simply use search read or you can use search method according to your need so simply here I'll use search read and what I'll do I'll pass this data to the report so inside the data dictionary I have added an another key called appointments and I have passed this to the template so along with this data it will go to the template so in the template what I can do I'll just comment or uncomment this code here I have already added so let me remove this side so what I have done here is that I have added a table with T head that is head section with two columns that is a reference and age reference and age and if I remove this so here you can see I am iterating so in the appointments variable so here we are setting the appointments variable we are passing this value so t for each so as it contain multiple values I am using a for loop t for each appointment t as line and I'm printing line of name and line of age so let's restart the service and let's see what we are getting on printing the report right now so I'll click on print again and let's see what happens so here you can see lot of up things are getting printed OT001 OT002 so these are the appointments inside the database so right now we don't have any filter that is it's coming all the records but we do we need to get only the appointments of Michelle from in between these dates so you have to apply the filter so you can apply the filter here so inside the search read method you can apply your domain that is patient ID equal to patient ID equal to what patient ID you have to get self dot read off so inside self dot read off or I'll assign a variable here patient ID equal to patient id equal to self dot read of patient id so patient id and what i'll do i'll create a domain so i'll show you domain so first of all i'll initialize an empty domain and domain so let me correct the typo domain and i'll move it to the next line so first of all i have initialized an empty list patient id so i'll check or what i'll do you have to use dot get of patient ID so I'll check whether the dictionary contains a patient ID key that is if patient ID I will add domain dot append domain dot append what I can say or domain plus equal to I'll explain what I'm doing patient ID equal to patient ID equal to patient ID so let me print this domain and see what I'm getting print domain so I'm setting a domain to filter only the records of the selected patient in the wizard so let me go back to the UI and if I click on print and if you come back here domain equal to patient ID so in patient ID 
what we are getting of zero you can put or patient ID let me here you can see patient ID is coming like this but we don't we need only the ID that is 9 so here I will specify patient ID of 0 so 0 and let me remove this one so let me restart and if I print the report again you can see we got a domain like this patient ID equal to name so we are adding this domain only if the patient is selected so if patient is not selected this domain will not get built similarly what I will do I will check whether there is date from so date from I will check whether date from date from similarly I will add for date 2 also date 2 so here inside this function oops, oh, there is a mistake actually I can simply call self dot patient ID here instead of because we are in the same object self I can call self dot patient ID and here I can call self dot date from and in the next line I can call self dot date to and here I'll check let me copy this let me copy here you can specify patient ID dot ID because this is the or another method initially we have the result of read method this one read method but as we are in the same model you can call self dot patient id self dot date from self dot date to so i have added the first domain and i'll check if date from i will add another domain that is if you go to the appointments model here you have a date field and if you place the mouse over this you can see the field name is date appointment so i'll add another domain date appointment date appointment has to be greater than or equal to date from so this domain I'll apply here and in the next domain what you have to add if date 2 if date 2 is selected the appointment date should be less than or equal to date 2 so what here we have done is we have built a domain based on the selected fields in the wizard so here I have printed the domain so let's see so right now if I come back to the wizard I have selected all the data and if you click on print and if you check the domain that we have created you can see patient ID should be 9 date appointment should be greater than or equal to 28th of July and should be less than 29th of July so what I will do with this domain I will simply pass this domain to search read method so let me remove this print here you can see along with the search read method I have passed the domain so right now we will be getting only the appointments of selected patients so if you if I open the latest report here you can see we have a lot of appointments because we don't have any filter there but right now we have added the filter and if you click on print and if you open you can see there is no appointment for Michelle in between these dates let me close all these so let's check when Michelle have a appointment so using group by it seems Michelle doesn't have any appointments in the database so I'll choose uh, Jennifer she has appointments on which dates date field is empty anyway she has some appointments so what I'll do I'll keep these dates empty so thus filtration will not happen and I'll choose Jennifer so right now what we are expecting right now if I print the report I have to get two appointments that is OT009 and OT0035 actually if I remove this method Michelle might have still Michelle doesn't have the appointments so Jennifer so I, I have removed the default filter so Jennifer has six appointments in the database so if I print I'm expecting to get six appointments so here you can see one two three four five six that is if I come back here or 12 25 30 sorry 12 25 3 9 17 35 9 17 35 so here you can see we can print the appointments of Jennifer and let's take we have to filter the appointments of the month of May so here you can see this appointment is on 
18th of May 2021 so if I need to get the appointments of May I can choose from May 1st to May 31st I'll choose May 31st so right now what I'm expecting to get only a single appointment so if I print you can see RT0025 so if you check RT0025 it is the appointment that happens in the month of May now I'll add one more appointment for Jennifer in the month of May itself in the 5th of May I have saved and if I print again it will contain two appointments here you can see two appointments so this is how you can generate a PDF report from wizard in Odoo simply create a wizard by a menu add necessary filters in the domain so don't make the field required because there might be case a user need to print all the appointments or there might be case where we have to print a particular record so i'll recommend you not to make any fields required unless it is required you can keep it empty so that users can print all the records and all the filters must be non required and if it is empty there should be no domain so if i keep patient empty it has to print all the patients and if i choose one record it has to print one record actually instead of many to one field here it's better to keep it as a many to many field so that users can select multiple patients and print according to the need so that method is more flexible keeping it multiple that is many to many field so this is how you can generate a report from wizard in Odoo. so let me explain a little more so if you go back here right now we have only printed the appointment reference and age so take a case where you need to get more details like what what you need to get like a description or what i can say just take a case you have to add the description to the report so if i go back you can add one more column so here i'll add one more column called description in the t head and i'll name the t name as t disk so i'm giving this name because later if someone need to export or inherit and make these changes it will be easy for him so develop in a way that it can be inherited by others easily so what i have i have added a column here so what you need you have to add one more column inside this for loop so what is the field name so if i check the field name the field name is not so line of not you can do like this and if you restart and if you print the report again print you can see description new patient new patient has been coming so what i'll do i'll change the description of ot001 what where is ot001 let me remove this group by here i have ot001 i'll put the description as sorry this is appointment ot001 sorry or sorry i have this is the patient form so actually this is patient form we have to print the description so here we have also a description field called not yeah here you can see not so i'll change this to test not test not so test not and if you print it again appointments and if you print the report you can see does not is coming so this is how we can generate a report from wizard and here right now we have used search read method to get data in a dictionary format either you can use the search also so i'll show you you can use search then you might have to build the right now once you do search method you will be getting as a record set then you might have to create the dictionary like this appointment list equal to empty then you have to iterate for a appointment in appointments then you have to create your own dictionary vals equal to vals equal to patient id or what data you have to pass the required data so uh, let me write some codes appointment list dot append wells so what all data we need we need name not an age name not an age appointment 
dot name so we are building our own so we are only passing so in this method we will be passing only the required things that is note appointment dot note and age age appointment dot age so instead of search read method i have shown i am using search method then you will be getting data as instead of dictionary you will be getting a record set so if you print i'll show you so if i print the appointments it will be like this and i have created iterated appointments over a for loop then created a dictionary appended the dictionary to a list and then i will pass that list to the data so let me print the result will be the same so if i print the reports of jennifer only instead of long data if i print the reports of jennifer here you can see the result of search will be like this instead of dictionary you will be getting the record sets so i have iterated the record set and i have created a dictionary appended the dictionary to a list and that list is passed to the template so this is how we can generate a report in Odoo. so if you need one more thing uh, and i will wind up the video so initially we will have we, we were having so let me copy this control c and let me click on control z we have some extra things yeah here you can see we were having the total so right now if i restart and if i print the appointment if i print the appointment of jennifer here in the bottom you can see total appointments is coming as six so what we have done is here we have set a variable inside the for loop initially i have set a variable called appointment count and set its value as zero and in each iteration i have incremented its count as one then finally after the for loop i have printed total appointments equal to appointment count so that we can see at the bottom jennifer has six appointments and if you need to filter you can simply select the filter that you need and print the report patient so this is all about how to generate a report from wizard in Odoo without using parser file so there is another method using the parser file and i'll be showing it as a separate video also instead of using the orm methods we can use sql queries in order to fetch the data from the database so we will be discussing those methods in a separate video so if you like this video and if you understand please do click the like button and support us and feel free to share the videos in your social medias as well as with your Odoo groups and along with the Odoo friends. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.